We're Kyle, Maddie, an American couple who shipped our self-converted van from the U.S. over to the U.K. to start U.K. slash European van life. In all of our travels, we've eaten a lot of strange things, and in today's video, that is no different as we walk around Scotland's largest city and try the very practical national dish. Um, haggis is the national dish of Scotland, and it contains the liver, heart, and lungs of a sheep. Welcome to Scotland's biggest city, Glasgow. This city is packed with history, culture, and right now there's actually a big national bike race going on. So perfect timing, pretty cool. Let's go and see what Glasgow has to offer. So we're currently on the famous Buchanan Street, which is this street here in Glasgow that is filled with tons of shops, eateries, everything. And it just so happens that the UCI National Championship is coming through right now. They're flying. There are hundreds, maybe thousands of people here watching. And I think there's also a sporting event going on. So Glasgow was just like insanely busy today. But we weirdly stumble upon these like random things often. Looking at the architecture as you walk around Glasgow is incredible. I mean, this city is at least 1,500 years old, which is super old. That's, what, like five times older than the United States? I can't even think about that. Yeah, it's insane. But yeah, the architecture, the buildings, they're just beautiful. Well, we found the finish line, and apparently it's the world championship, not the national. Good noise for our riders as they're coming into view. Round the corner any second now. And here they come, Glasgow! It's the one finishing straight being let in today. Coming into Glasgow, you see the huge art culture that they have here, and one of the really cool things is you run into so many murals across the city. There's actually a, it's like a two hour trail that you follow, and you can see 29 murals across the city. So I think we're not even following the trail, and we've found like, what, seven so far? So coming and seeing the murals is really cool. There's also so many museums and art galleries that you can go into. So in the 1500s, there was this revolution called the Protestant Reformation, and pretty much they went around and, and burnt all the cathedral churches down in mainland Scotland. And this right here is one of, is the only cathedral church that survived all of it. And it is beautiful. I think it's almost, 900 years old like oh like somewhere up there years old and it's beautiful you can tell just how old it is from the outside it smells old yes i can smell it so this cathedral is Beautiful and it's huge. I had no clue that you could find a cathedral that looked like this, but we're down in the lower basement part right now and I think we just saw some tombs. I haven't read on it yet, but definitely some tombs. No bodies in there. <laughs> but yeah, this is just absolutely gorgeous inside. St. Nicholas. Alright, St. Nicholas was born. I don't think we could recommend this place enough. It is so beautiful. And usually we're not like the biggest people to go to like huge churches and stuff. Just because we feel like a lot of them can typically like be the same. This is so cool though. It's so different than any other cathedral we've ever been to. Okay. We'll do single. Alright, got the goods. Less than a 10 minute walk from the Glasgow Cathedral is Merchant Chippy, which we um, are getting some traditional Scottish food, and I believe I'm gonna eat the, um, the dish of Scotland, the most popular Scottish dish. So and that's haggis. And for those of you that don't know what haggis is, I have to read this because I can't get it straight. Um, haggis is the national dish of Scotland, and it contains the liver, heart, and lungs of a sheep mixed with beef suet and oatmeal and it's boiled in a bag and traditionally the bag 
would be the stomach of the sheep. So I think this is fried here, but. All right, first bite, here you go, Scotland. Cheers. <laughs> All right, this is delicious. Stop, really? Mm. I could eat these all day. Oh, <laughs> this is really good. Hey, I guess it sounds disgusting, but it's super good. I'm just not as adventurous as you. Yeah, you but know? it's delicious. It makes me really nervous. Okay, wait, it smells really good. What's in it again? It's sheep's liver, heart, stomach, or no, no, lungs. And then traditionally it's boiled in its stomach. This probably wasn't. I'm brave. It's okay. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> just, just because of the thought of it, I can't. Personally, I would not say that's delicious. It's okay though. I can't get the thought out of my head. If I didn't know what it was, I would like it better. All right, so Maddie can't get over the thought of it, but I rather enjoy it. I eat my sausage. Um, if you've seen any of our older videos, I am very adventurous when it comes to eating food. I mean, I've eaten food from so many different countries that a lot of people would never try, so. I'm ticking, ticking haggis off of the list. Didn't even know it was on the list, but here it is. So completely unrelated to our haggis that we just tried, I just got a sausage roll from here and it was fantastic. One of my favorite things I've eaten in all of the UK. So if you really want some just like super good food, come to Merchant Chippy. It's apparently one of the top 50 chippies in all of Scotland. So good. So we read online that there was something called the Buchanan Street Market today and we were expecting like a big, you know, like nice market, kind of like what we went to in Keswick a few days ago. Um, it's so small, there's like five tents maybe. Um, so it's cool. There's like a lot of like little handmade trinkets and stuff at it. It's really cute. There's like homemade pottery, I think homemade jewelry, some cool little things, but um, way smaller than I expected. Maybe like a 10 minute endeavor, not even. <laughs> Well, it's getting cold, it's about to rain, and the art museum that we wanted to go to is not really accessible for us because of the Cycling World Championship. All the roads are shut down, so yeah, <laughs> that was our time in Glasgow. Yep, so if you're looking for a beautiful city with great culture and architecture, art, Glasgow is for you. And don't forget to get the haggis. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> All right. Northern Scotland, here we come. <laughs>